What's going on guys, welcome back to another episode of the My Team Korea mod. In today's episode, we will be going to France, which is just magnificent. Uh, I'm not a fan of it in real life, but on the game, I actually really do like it. As we look like we've upgraded pretty much everything here that we can, and now I just need to upgrade the actual facilities um yeah i'm going to probably do the the aero dynamics but i need to save money up though so maybe not just yet but we've got an event to go I hate to. to drop this on you but we could do with your expertise on this uh it's time we had a chat about our work rates whilst we are doing it extremely well and hitting our targets to increase rates of stress and burnout among the staff. Once see it's hitting the deadline. Have a small yep, yeah, agree. that well. Thank you. It's fine, Mammy. Let's advance. And we're here. We're in France. We're going to France. So I'll be right back once I've sorted it all out. Alright, so I am um deciding to do practice but not actual practice as in driving i'm just simulating the driving of the practice so i get some extra resource points to upgrade the team i actually get a trophy right there which is pretty cool so into practice two now um i don't know if i'm going to do all three practices if I, if I don't have to obviously i want to get to qualify i'm just going to show you what i'm going to do in future episodes i won't show you obviously be doing the practice we'll show you what i actually am doing though Let's go to the next pra next session. We'll go to quick practice like this. And then we'll go to qualifying. We'll do that. We'll do... Boom. And we've actually failed that one. That's not good. Let's go. And then we can't do any of these, right? I don't think so, anyway. Oh, we can do this one. There we go. Nice. We can advance that. And end session. And then we will go to practice three to finish off anything that we can finish off. I don't know what we exactly we can finish off of what now. Maybe in the future I'll do these myself and just not show you. Um, I don't obviously no one really cares about watching practice. You just want to see qualifying and obviously uh, the race. Let's go to. I thought we'd fail that. Try that again. And we failed it again. And we passed that one. So we passed something. And end session. I don't exactly know what we're going to get for completing this. I've never done it before. I think you just get a few extra resource points if I'm not mistaken. But obviously we're going to qualify. Like I said, for this season we'll keep it on short for qualifying, and then in the future I'll probably change to Q1, Q2, and Q3 for the future of the uh, career mod. Uh, but for now, in this first season, I'm just going to keep it on short, and then probably change it in the future. Like I said, obviously last race we did come second in Canada. So I've put the uh, AI difficulty slightly up again. Um, as long as I, in this first thing I keep getting like a top five finish, I'll probably keep putting it up until I start struggling slightly. But here we, here we go. We are in France, so that means I'm gonna want for the car setup probably maximum speed because there's not much. Um, not much corners 
to, to actually buy a monocle corn is what I mean. But here we go, here we go then. Our first flying lap we're about to get onto. I do like France on this game. I mean, in real life, I don't really like France because there's not much overtaking, but on the game, I actually quite like it. The DRS is going to be open now. We start a flying lap. Go back in. Not bad for uh, this, this bit I'm always bad at to be fair. We'll get DRS open on this straight. Slightly late, maybe a little bit too late. A 134 is the time to beat for Fernando Alonso. I don't think this is a bad first lap, it's just not great. Well, it's probably a good lap for my, for my actual car though. See how bad the car actually is. A 30. Oh wait, no. 153. Not bad at all. Well, we've started to the garage. Let's see what we can do. So it's at the end of qualifying now. Where did we With finish in the end? Finished, it's Seven. time to remind ourselves of our top three. Hamilton, Sainz and Sergio Perez. Sainz and Perez well, up two and three. Up qualifying, we'll, but don't worry, we'll be back tomorrow as we head into the Grand Prix. I don't know if anyone will get any penalties or not, but... P7, I'll tell you what, not terrible. You see, our car is absolutely rubbish. A lot of, uh, what's that, claim? Potentially another point finish on here for this race, which is absolutely brilliant. As we now go into the race, I'll uh, show you the sc show you the uh, screens. All right, I think we can call that a successful qualifying. Welcome along then to France, host of the world famous Tour de France. But we're not talking two wheels today, we're talking four in a country widely thought of as giving birth to the art of motor racing back in the late 1800s. We've come a long way since then and you're about to find out how far. It's time for the French Grand Prix. The circuit Paul Ricard then, a 3.6 mile track, 25 miles east of Marseille. 15 corners here, 6 to the left and 9 to the right, with the main overtaking chance expected going into turn 8. Top speeds today should be around 205 miles per hour. With the race minutes away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position. A very happy Carlos Sainz will start second. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Perez, Leclerc, Max Verstappen and Bottas. The owner driver, Fernando Alonso, Norris and Sebastian Vettel. 
Sonoda, Ricardo, Pierre Gasly, and Stroll, Ocon, Raikkonen, Mick Schumacher, and George Russell, Piquet, Mazepin, Giovinazzi, and Nicholas Latifi. And with preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. Oh, what have I got about? Five red lights in front of the drivers. It's lights out and away we go here in France. Bottas with a very good start on us. Alonso already catching McClure, struggling already. Look at Bottas he starts. We're going to go on the inside now. Break early. McClure keeps ahead of us. Bottas, amazing start from him. And do we get in front of McClure now on this straight? Side by side by him. We get in front of him and we should keep the sick position on the cliff for now. Signs, this didn't sign start second? Oh. No, it's the fourth, but I think the staff might be in the lead. On this trade though, does the clerk go for the overtake? Doesn't look like he's going to just yet. Norris in eighth. Bottas going for the overtake of Carlos Sainz and does get him. So Sainz, who I'm pretty sure started second, he's now down to fifth. We've got, we're in the middle of both of the Ferraris. Sainz looks like he's going very slow here. Do we go for the overtake? We've got a heel on him. I didn't want to cause any crashes. And McClure might get us, does he? I think he's going to. Nope, we keep our position on McClure for now. And can't glide around that corner. Now we're going straight second map now. We're up six. Sergio Perez with the fast as well. Does that mean he's in the lead? We're approaching the pit window. You'll be on the mediums. Got over a bit of a curve though, I didn't want to. And he's starting to stop going on these curves. Sector one purple, all like that. We'll put our ERS on, all the tempo on. On this straight, I'm scared here because, especially the next lap, because DRS will be the next lap. Leclerc might get us. I'll tell you what, we are catching Carlos Sainz off. I'm with the overtake button, we might be able to go for an overtake here on Carlos Sainz. Do we go on the inside of him? I have to break there. I'm scared of going into him. And the clear's on us. And it looks like Sainz is slightly getting away from us now. That sector's been really bad for us on his first couple of laps. I mean, we was, I think at one point, less than about five tenths on for Sainz. Our first couple of sectors are quite good. And Bottas gets fastest lap of the race. DRS, will be enabled this lap. DRS is enabled. Leclerc is still catching us and we're still in between both of the Ferraris. Which I'm not exactly a fan of. But again, we are catching Carlos Sainz. With DRS enabled, will this be the lap? Is the straight big enough? Is the straight big enough? It might just not be this lap. We're going to go on the inside of Carlos Sainz and the overtake is complete. And we're up to fifth. Okay, good work. Great pass.
expect the grip levels to start falling away soon. How's our wheels doing? Three laps in and our wheels are up for that. The worm of them already. Almost up to 40%. Oh, Carl Sainz, did he go into the back of us then? He might have done. We're boxing this lap. Give us the best in lap you can. Interesting moment to box this lap. I'm just thinking, if I can stay ahead of these both of these Ferraris, I might stay out for another lap and try and go for the the undercut. Or is it the overcut? Might be the overcut. I have a clue. Just, oh, I've got off the track. That's not good. The problem here is it's time to have DRS on me, uh, on me. And I will not have it on. Oh, well, will it not? Another purple sector one though, and that's from Satan. Oh, sector two is red though. Former sector two is quite bad. The sector one is, is pretty decent though. Oh God, it's Carl Sainz. He's catching. What is Sainz doing though? I'm going to go on the inside though. Oh, it's here putting on. I'm just sure we got no damage from that. It doesn't look like we did. Hopefully I can stay out in front of Ferraris here for the rest of this lap so I can pit. Off the button on. Might get a bit lucky here, Sainz doesn't have DRS. I need to get a good exit here though. I don't think that was a terrible exit. I'm, I'm really bad there. That's what's screwing me up. Oh, I've just kept the car on the track. I'm going to pit this lap. And one of the, look at this, people have pitted as well. Couple, I think a couple of people have stayed out. Verstappen goes onto the hoids. I saw that. Verstappen onto hoids. Pedro is coming in for his stop. Needs to be a good one to get in front of the Ferrari. Come on. Be a good pit stop. Get in front of the Ferrari. Release, release. We're in front of him. We're in front of the Ferrari of Charles Leclerc, who's on the hides! Why are they going to hide these, um... Complete. See these tyres through to the end now. Interesting, they go, they're going on to hides. Very interesting. I mean, if I'm quite lucky here, I might have to build a gap on the club to the hides. What we need to try to do now is get a really good lap in here for when these other people start pitting. Yeah, we've got to go over to button on. On this straight. And then back on for this straight. Come on. I 
I'm really bad at that corner, I really am. A lot of people have pitted. Let's get round this corner now. Here we go. How many places can we pick up? I think we might even get in front of the Ferrari call our sides that we have. Back into seventh we go. Oh that is terrible for Ferrara. Okay, gap ahead is 4.0 seconds. Come on, halfway there the rest. Well, off halfway there the rest now. Purple sector one. The green sector two. Bit wider. ERS button on, German access into the pits. And Sonoda. And we get out and we're into fifth. Got a gap on Norris now of almost four seconds, but we're also got four seconds behind Lewis Hamilton. Almost five seconds. A bit wide there again. I struggle with that these couple of corners, don't I? That's what I'm losing most of my time on. Oh, we've lost a, a bit of a, a gap on Norris now. He's getting close to four seconds, he's down to almost three seconds. Bosses of Verstappen having an absolute gap to teammate whole, behind is 23.9 seconds. Put the overtake button on now. On this straight. Boss has to be stopping still fighting. How much time did we lose on that one?
Might be one of my better uh, laps this uh, in terms of them corners. Put the other turbine on here. Obviously, we're going red sectors, but that is expected. Three laps remaining of the race. Like almost four seconds now again on Norris. And I'm not saying about it, potentially being one of my better laps in terms of that corner. The good thing that's happened for me in terms of uh, this race is the DRS. They haven't been able to get that DRS on me. I've just been comfortably sat in on the seventh, and I'm so bad I uh, did go for the. Uh, the overtakes it by the people in the pits. I've been comfortably, comfortably in fifth since I uh, got here. 3.2 seconds. Two laps remaining, then come on. Got a good end to the race. Maintain our position. Don't do anything stupid. We just keep like this for the rest of this race. We are finishing P5, unless obviously there's a crash in front of us. Or behind us, it, everything can change actually. If there's a safe guard, not actually, there's a safe guard. The, the, oh no, obviously, I'm sorry. So finish like this, what am I about? Keep managing your tires. Manage your tires. Oh yeah, that's not, that's not, that's not, how's the tires doing? The tires are fine. The tires are fine. I don't know why I say manage tires. The tires are fine. Oh, a bit over the curb there. Good thing I kept it on, otherwise that could have ruined the rest. Come on, one more lap after this. So two laps now, including this one, we're about to go on to. A good exit there. Not a thing, not a good corner though, that right there. Glide a car around. Glide your car around. That's nice quite a good idea, that was a... Oh, look it, look it, look it. Fernando Alonso, fastest lap of the race. I wonder, I think he might be on soft then, probably. There's three laps of fuel remaining. Keep concentration here. Don't do anything stupid going into this final lap. 
Here we go then, over to button on. Final lap of the race. I mean, it, it, it's almost a blowout. This is your final lap, final lap of the race. I definitely We're shouldn't be finishing top five though. Or even starting P7 in then this car. It probably means difficulty is still probably a little bit too easy. So I'll definitely be uh, putting it up after this race. The gap to the car ahead is 5.3 seconds. Oh, it's a button on. A very good exit into, into the straight here. I think Sergio Perez is leading the race. He is. So Sergio Perez looks like he's going to win the French Grand Prix. Hamilton's not even going to get a podium, it looks like. But the checkered flag is out. It's been a, looks like it's been a dominant race really from Sergio Perez, from what I've seen, as he, he goes round the final corner. Checkered flag is out. Sergio Perez wins the French Grand Prix. Bottas comes home in second. Verstappen third. Hamilton fourth. And we come home with our highest finish of fifth place. Brilliant. Brilliant from us. That's the end of the race. We'll see you in Park Fermi. Brilliant, brilliant. What a Absolute brilliant from us. P5. I'll take that all day long. Red Bull are our winners today after sh Wow, what a race. What a race. And we'll see you in the next episode. I'm out. Peace. So then, it's time to see.